i wanted to talk to you about um how the holidays in particular and how we can um deal with holiday stresses you know you've been seeing probably patients throughout you know as the ramp started before thanksgiving to now what would you say are the typical things that people are stressed out about and what kind of advice would you give them yeah you know the holiday season is when we have the most heart attacks i was going to ask you that i wonder Uh, wow and and for a number of reasons i mean some of it has to do with the the season the the winter the shorter day the you know the 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 daylight and so forth but then obviously you know the the lifestyle the choices that people make Mm -hmm. the overeating the emotional eating the the drinking um, has plays a role, and then the, the social factor, the social stress. I mean, the holidays are a fun time; it's a time of family. But as most people will admit, if they are honest with themselves, it is also a very stressful time. Mm-hmm. You know, whether it's just putting on the party, whether it's the the conflict that you have with a particular relative that you now have to navigate through. I, I think that the holidays can truly be a time of of, of great stressors. Yeah. And and so how do you combat that? How do you um, how do you navigate that? Um, number one is to recognize it. Okay, recognize right. that. Hey, okay, this is going to be a, a challenging time for me. Mm-hmm. And then be able to make light of it. Be able to laugh about it. Be able yeah. to minimize the impact. Okay, so what if I don't have the perfectly laid out Thanksgiving dinner? Right. right? It. You know, what if the table setting isn't just beautiful? What if Uncle Sal, you know, Uncle Matt doesn't get along with Aunt Amy? You know, right. Those don't need to be your issue, right? <laughs> so, so you know, that's true. You're making them to... into issues with your thought. This is when you have yes. to do this. One of these things, right? Like that's, pause. That's... Does it have to be this perfection in in this particular way? It's only your mind idealized version of it that you're shooting for right i mean because i have to have the martha stewart thing and everyone has to have a placard with her name on it written in gold script no it doesn't yeah. you know right. <laughs> Crip pause. no placard it's okay so learning how to learning to let go of yeah. a lot of um these expectations a lot of these beliefs that you have about how it's so important to have that perfect you know whatever um, is really key. And then and then just remember the holidays are for family, for love, for you know showing appreciation and gratitude. Yeah. And so the more that you can just again stay in those high energy vibration. Yeah. Uh, that's how you're going <laughs> to minimize your stress. Yeah, so when you do the oh, Uncle Sam's really bothering me because it's like pause. You know, is your thinking about this really going to make this uh, about the spirit of love and connection right. during the center, or is this thinking, whatever you're doing about, you know, Uncle Sam, going to cause you to get out of the moment and, right. you know, run amok? Right. Um, so I think that's, and mostly yeah. what it does is get gets us to run amok. But I think that being able to at least know that when you at least it's part of it is like you said, it's your seven percent of your conscious mind going, oh yeah 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 yeah, oh, I need to stop. You know, I, 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 I remember talking to Dr. Thack, you know, um, and she said, you know, Dr. Thack said, don't, you know, don't go, don't, don't be super perfectionist. And it's, you know, you have That's an right. idealist expectation. You know, one of the That's other, right. I actually just wrote a holiday guide. I think it may have 50 tips. It's, it's gigantic. <laughs> so if you go up to my website, fireduppercj.com, I have a, a, a holiday guide. And one of my all-time favorite ones, which I'm sure you would appreciate as a Buddhist and someone who meditates, is to take those times when you're sitting in line and are feeling really irritated and just say, ah, I'm. this is a perfect time to hit pause and just meditate. And I've been doing that ever since I've been sitting in grocery lines. Instead of going, this person is taking forever. Really? You're going to pay credit card? Now you're going to pay cash? Like, oh my gosh, get out of line, you know? Now I'm just, ah, oh, look at the tree light. And then sometimes I'm, I'm glancing like, oh my gosh, she's still there. 
<laughs> but still just using those you know those times any downtime as a way to yes. kind of center and focus that was one of my favorite tips so what are some yeah. of your other tips for holidays yeah. so? you know the holiday is a great time to to remember about forgiveness okay yeah forgiveness to yourself for all the things that you didn't get accomplished that year you know all those expectations and forgiveness to other other people both loved ones as well as you know people that are um you know what is it the the, the, the dalai lama says you know my my special friends right you know mm-hmm. the, the the people who really challenge my teachers. you yeah yeah it's my teachers and, yeah and 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 then you know the 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 the, the biggest thing for me though is is exactly what you just um, suggested it's just bringing yourself back to the moment you know, being centered and being present. That mm-hmm. works for me every single time and having gratitude in that moment. Okay? And so tying that being present with, with a thought of gratitude. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. It, that will always shift somebody. Yeah. And I think it's actually the, the thing I was thinking about the other day is that um, I was thinking about gifts. And the holiday season is kind of interesting because they're, I don't know if you've ever read the five love languages, but they talk about different ways that people demonstrate their love for other people. And gifts is one way. It's a way for like sharing what's in their heart to another person's heart. So what do you do when you get, you know, something you don't like? You're like, oh, you know, oh, sock puppet, you know, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but if you kind of think, if you get to the point where you think, no, it's really just about, it's real, this is all just about love. Now, I may not like the way they express their love, but it's about love. Like, how can you take the sock puppet and go, yeah, no, you know, no thanks. Like, you can return that love. <laughs> get another kind of love that you like but I think it's like recognizing at that moment when you open up the gift and it's not what you're expecting or whatever going you know this is actually this is this person's way of expressing love and for a lot of people it is through gifts you know they can't do the affirmations or the other things so I was thinking that that's one of the most uh, one of the things I didn't have my holiday guide that I think is actually pretty important I think is to recognize these are all the dinner and the exquisite beautiful preparation of the food it's about love it's sharing yourself through food i mean the that's whole right. thing is ultimately about love right that's right yeah um any other holiday tips you know just just appreciation yeah you know, really you know appreciate and not just the big things but the little things yeah right? you know noticing you know the the, the the smile on uh, you know mm-hmm. the, the kind words um, mm-hmm. you know there's there's so many things that um, you can do to again share that holiday spirit mm-hmm. um, and you'd be surprised how often those few words make such a huge difference to a person's day like you could yeah. say you know I was really noticing I that we had this woman from Comcast and, she, and I said you know, you really care about what you're doing. I I can tell that you're trying to do things with excellence, and I really appreciate that. And her whole face just lit up. And it wasn't, I wasn't trying to do anything. I was just, I mean, because I'm a coach, I'm noticing, and I'm I'm noticing the, like, effort and energy that she's putting into doing things. And just those small things, whether it's the Comcross person or the coffee person or the bus driver, all those little things, I think, are kind of, they're like little mini gifts that, yeah. Or beyond anything you could ever buy to and give that person, it just makes that person feel good on the inside. Yeah. I think it, it it makes me think about Wallace Waddle and the science of getting rich. Um, be a person of increase, and that's really what you're mm. doing is being a person of increase, right? You know, the recognition that at at any moment in any day, you can be a person of increase mm. and increase. You know, the 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 energy and the vibration and the love. Um, and extend it to you know anyone that's that's you know in front of you, and and because of the law of reciprocity, yeah, right, it just it bounces back to you, and that that you know your your day, as you probably recognize, was you know was elevated as a result of what you gave. Yeah, right? it was. Well, I, I yes, it was because I felt. She was so, oh, thanks, or, you know, and yeah. I, I thought, oh, wow, that really meant so. And then, and, you know, I'm, I'm just saying it because I notice it and I'm saying my truth at that moment. But it, you could tell it made her day, which then made my day. And it is a, yes. it is a re- re- reciprocity. Right. The reciprocity is definitely in place. And I want to go back to the forgiveness thing because I recently just did something with forgiveness. And, and uh, 
I was thinking about the things that kind of do this thing, right, that sink my energy down. And there are probably um, five different people that I look back in my life and say, I really regret it the way I treated this person. And if I could only do something differently, I would do that. And here's the great thing about social media. I was able to look up these people's names and I would send them a Facebook note and I said, you know, I've, I've held this on for years and I just want to tell you that I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm not even uh-huh. sure, I, you know, it was a point in my life when, you know, this was happening and I'm not even using that excuse. It's inexcusable though the way that I treated you and I'm really deeply sorry. And, and it, it was just, I sent all those emails out to those five people and I've got to tell you the burden, I just felt so free because forgiveness yeah. is something you do for your heart, on, for your heart. Yeah. And then also for the other person clearly, but it's the burden and shame and guilt that you carry inside for such a long time. I mean, I'm now 50, so I'm carrying this 50 years of, or, you know, probably less than that because this is ha- some of them happened 20 years ago, but I'm carrying that around to me. And when I did that, it's, it's free. Like, it's free. It's a release. Okay? Yeah. And forgiveness is exactly that. It is for the person. Yeah. It's for you, the individual that's doing the forgiving. Yeah. You know? it, felt, it felt so and, good. Yeah. And, and no matter how it's re- received, um, it, it doesn't matter because you, the act is in the, in the release for you. Right? Yeah. And, and then obviously it's going to have a positive benefit. Well, interestingly enough, in terms of how it was received, because I didn't know. Like, I was thinking, like, I could just be opening up a, a can of whoop-ass. You know, I don't know what's going to happen. So I sent out these five emails. And um, one of them said, I don't even remember what you're talking about, but I'm sure it's fine. Like, I don't even remember. That's how much it didn't matter to me. So don't worry about it. And then the other person said, yeah, you know what? I've changed, you changed, and I've never thought twice about it. Like, everyone wrote back, except for one, which which I knew was, I I wasn't sure if this person would ever forgive me. And I said, it's okay. You know, I said, if you don't want to respond back. And and all of them, I'm like, don't feel like you have to respond back. Because I didn't want to feel like Mm -hmm. pressure. You know, if someone forgives, you feel like it has to be reciprocated. And in every case, I said, you don't have to read spawn back I just want you to know that this is how I'm feeling and only in one case out of those five did I not hear back a kind of like I've forgotten about it I don't even know what you're talking about so this thing that I'm carrying around for years no one even cares about so it's like that's one of the best and going back it's one of the best gifts that you can give you know yeah. whether it's your relative or a friend or you know work, in my case they were work associates a college roommate a high school person i mean it's just all over because usually people are kind you know because they've yeah. done the same thing they've done right. awful things and said things that they regret to other people that's right so i love that forgiveness um gratitude um and then um sharing your appreciation for other people and and then really soak in the you know the music and the dance and you know the, all the the physical signs of of the holiday spirit. I yes. mean, I think that that really um, 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 does a lot to 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 lift the energy. Okay, so <laughs> movement, right? The dance. Um, is we forget those things. Yeah. Laughter. I mean, you've laughed so many times during this this interview but that that's a, so cleansing for our, our body yeah you know yeah. and and when we talk about uh uh something physical that you can do as a stress reducer mm-hmm. have a good hearty laugh every day I just love laugh that. for yeah. the for the sake of laughing for no other reason than to just laugh i did that one time i um i took a yoga teacher program and they said we'll start the class and I said, well, we're going to do a, a laughing yoga meditation. And I and it was so embarrassing because if you just start laughing out loud for no reason, it's very embarrassing. So I just had this like ridiculous loud laugh. I was like, oh, so you start off, you go, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm sitting in this yoga class and I was like, oh, 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 oh. I'm like, everyone, you have to join me because I'm going to feel bad. So then I had all these yoga teachers, they're all going, Ho, 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 ho. And we did this. And then by the time the end of this five minutes, all of us were just laughing hysterically because the whole thing oh. was so preposterous. But that even that fake laughter generates an authentic 
real laughter, which I wouldn't have expected. I just heard it on an NPR thing. So (laughs) because I'm the constant explorer, I'm like, yeah, I'll, yeah, let's use this for the yoga class. (laughs) Let's just (laughs) see if this works. And it does. It's pretty, I think it's very cool. Yeah. So even start laughing in your car, you know, start going, yes. ho, 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 and then see what happens. You'll be in the holiday spirit as well as probably laughing shortly thereafter. <laughs> All right. So, so drcynthia.com, when can we find on your website? What kind of info do you have on your website that people yeah. may want to check out? Yeah, you, you'll find lots of blogs on there, you know, centering around the topics of nutrition, fitness, and cardiac health for sure. But I, I talk a lot also about the, the, the mindsets and, and the, the importance of things like laughter and music and appreciation. Um, they can certainly uh, find out about our coaching program. Oh, I also have um, a couple of detox programs that I really want to offer for your, for your listeners. Um, they're, they're actually currently marked down at half price, but oh, cool. um, we do a, a physical, three-week physical detox program where um, my nutritionists really take them through um, uh, getting rid of the toxins, things that we know are highly allergenic to our body, mm-hmm. and then support them with uh, recipes and menu planning to, to really eat clean for the, the next three weeks, including daily email support. Mm-hmm. And that's really just a fabulous program that I find that patients, if they're able to extend that li- as a lifestyle and really take it out, and mm-hmm. I've had patients lose 30 pounds, drop their cholesterol by 80 points. And so, 80 again, points? Yes, wow. absolutely. You know, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We're so we're so quick to go to drugs, okay? But the truth of the matter is that if we truly wanted to be, if we set an intention and 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 claim responsibility, I'm responsible for the outcome. There isn't anything that you couldn't do or shift, right? Yeah. And and. And that's just the truth of it, right? Yeah. I mean, we can talk about, you know, meal replacement programs and these fancy programs to lose weight, and certainly we have those in our office, but but good, whole, wholesome eating and, and being mindful mm-hmm. and being present and really just setting that intention mm-hmm. is the key. Yeah. Um, and, and so... I'm so glad you said that because my husband, literally, he went to the doctor today and he's at 5% likelihood of having um, his cholesterol levels got raised by seven points, I guess, from three years ago. And he was told that it's, he has 5% likelihood of um, getting uh, a heart attack in the next five years. And he said, you're on a, a cusp because if it's 5% or lower, we say, don't take the statin. If you're 5% or higher, take the statin. And he's like, well, I'm at 5%. Yeah, what I would say to him is we now know from very good research that high cholesterol is actually a marker of inflammation. So if his cholesterol is risen, that's because his toxic burden and his inflammatory state of his body has risen. So before you go on drugs, I would urge him to think about um, alkalizing his diet, okay? Mm -hmm. Shifting the pH of the body. Think about investing in a a, a three-week detox program. Um, It it is simple. Right. It's just making it but then it's a, but then it's a lifestyle, right? It's not just it the is three, a lifestyle. It's not just three weeks and like, hey, I took the cholesterol test and it's actually lower. You know, it's That's like, right. It is a lifestyle, yeah. but you know, drugs a lifestyle too, right? I mean, yeah, you know, so true. so patients, you know, if you if you go. You're going to be taking that for the rest of your life. So right. what what is the better choice for you yeah. to change your diet or be on a medication for the rest of your life? Yeah, that's a good point. Well, yeah. thank you so much. I know we've got to go because you have a patient probably right now. So we yes. have Dr. Cynthia Thike, and we've been talking about her Don't book, Your about- Vibrant Heart. Yes, hold it up again, please. Okay. Your Vibrant Heart, Restoring Health, Strength, and Spirit from the Body Score. Thank you so much. I love your work. You're welcome, CJ. Okay, happy thanks. holidays. All right, happy holidays to you. Take care. Bye-bye. It means so much to me that you're listening to the show. I would love your support in any way by giving me comments below or to subscribe to the show or share the show with friends. Thank you again for your support, love and blessings.